I am back from our weekly grocery trip, and I did not buy too terribly much um, this week. It does seem like there should be a whole lot more here than what I did get. This apparently is $67 worth of groceries. And so, yep, I'm going to show you what I bought. I'll start here with the meat. Um, this is 73% lean meat. It was marked down to $6.46. And I did calculate in the store how much it is per pound for four and a half pounds, but it's a pretty good price. I'm thinking it's between $1.40 and $1.60 a pound. So I plan on breaking that up into a few meals. I bought these tortillas to make homemade, or these are corn tortillas to make some homemade nacho chips. I prefer the homemade nacho chips, although we do buy regular nacho chips in the store, but the homemade ones are the best. A bottle of light ranch dressing because we were out. One small bottle of mustard. Picante sauce. This was a little bit cheaper than the salsa, so I bought the picante. Some grape jelly to go on toast for breakfast, a fruit salad blend, whole strawberries, four loaves of bread. This is not supposed to be in the picture. It's not food related, so I'll put that over there. Two uh, containers of juice concentrate, some Tennessee fried sausage, uh, a double pack of American cheese. Um, usually I prefer the cheddar cheese of which we have in the refrigerator, but this is better for grilled cheese, so I bought that for that. And some, uh, let's see, coffee. This is a big canister. I'm trying to see how many ounces. 48 ounces, and this was seven something. And this coffee I really like. It's not bitter. It is a smooth coffee, but it's yet still strong. So I like this coffee. And then three gallons of milk. So what am I going to make? I'm gonna sit down here. This probably looks like a whole bunch of chicken scratch to you. So I'm going to sort of go through this. This morning, the children had some cereal, but if you notice, there's no cereal on the table. That's because I plan on doing more homemade meals this week. And so we're going to have granola bars, of which I have down here. It's Thursday. I have down here to make granola bars and to fry the ground beef that I just bought. So uh, the granola bars are for tomorrow and whatever's left over, because I plan on making a whole bunch of them, will be for snacks throughout the week. So granola bars, yogurt, and fruit. And I'll just go through the breakfast first. And then on Saturday, eggs, toast with jelly, bacon, and fruit. Monday, muffins. I plan on making some homemade muffins, and I might put some strawberries in them. I'm not sure. I might play around with putting some gelatin mix in some muffins. I guarantee you that would make them more moist, and it would add flavor. So I, I might experiment with that with some yogurt. Um, some oatmeal here. We could do some fruit with that as well. So we might do that. And then breakfast here on Wednesday would be eggs and potatoes. And of course, I will dice up some onion and um, fry all of this up and make it yummy. So let's see. Let's start here. In just a few minutes, we're going to have some bean burritos. And then for lunch um, tomorrow, pizza sandwiches. I'm going to try this on the panini press. I need to get a sandwich maker. I had a few years ago, and they both broke. And you can get a sandwich maker on Amazon that will hold four sandwiches at a time. I might eventually get, but I do have a panini press. So I'm going to try the pizza sandwiches on that. And also, I heard of someone also using a... Um, waffle maker. So I'm going to try both. And I might not have to use any money for a sandwich maker. Leftovers on Saturday or sandwiches. 
my husband will be gone off with the girls to do a job. I will not be here. I'm having lunch with a friend. So it will just be the teenage boys. So they will more or less fend, fend for their self that day. Sunday, super southwestern beef bake. Monday, baked potatoes. Tuesday, sandwiches and popcorn. Wednesday, grilled cheese sandwiches. And I might make some kind of soup to go with this as well. So here we are back to Thursday. Tonight we're going to have tuna casserole and green beans. Friday, potato soup and cornbread. Saturday, riblets, hopefully cooked over the fire. If it's raining, I'm going to have to come up with an alternative. And then I'll make some coleslaw, which I should have down here to make coleslaw for tomorrow. I need to put that down there. Make some coleslaw and mac and cheese, homemade mac and cheese. And then Sunday, leftovers for supper. Between the riblets, because it's a 10-pound box, we should have plenty of leftovers between here and here. Monday, nachos and Spanish rice. Tuesday, spaghetti. Wednesday, Italian chicken that I have as a freezer meal from those very low-cost um, chicken thighs that I bought last week. And kale greens with pasta salad. And that is it. So I just have notes down here. Like, I have four gallons of milk in all. About three today. I had one left in the fridge. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough milk to make it through. And that would include breakfast for Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And I think the juice concentrate we will have on Saturday morning with this big breakfast here. Or here. Yeah, probably here. So that is everything. And I just like to make small notes as to what to do each day to keep on top of things, especially when I am making homemade breakfast and we have school and all that. So anyway, my total this week was $67.14. And I believe that takes me to $317 in all for the month so far. So I'm not going to have a whole lot to play around with the second half of the month. But that's okay. We have plenty of food still here. The freezer is still packed, so I'm not complaining. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.